King Charles is reportedly filled with horror at the prospect of Meghan Markle writing a personal memoir detailing her time as a working royal, according to royal author Tom Quinn. The potential book, which might include contributions from Prince Harry, is seen as a way for Meghan to boost a new online business venture, American Riviera Orchard, and generate significant income. Speaking exclusively to The Mirror, Quinn claimed that Meghan is acutely aware that such a book would not only sell millions of copies, but also drive traffic to a new online business. For all of her efforts to make a success of a new online business, American Riviera Orchard, Meghan knows that a personal memoir of a time in the UK, as a working royal, would sell millions of copies and make her the sort of money she craves, he said. The royal author then continued, She's also acutely aware that such a book would only boost traffic to a new online business. All this fills King Charles with horror because Harry's bound to be a major contributor to the book, and we know there's a lot more material. After the publication of Spare, Harry himself said that he'd had enough material for two books. With all this hanging over his head, Charles is not in a forgiving mood. The royal commentator believes that the possibility of another bombshell memoir from the Sussexes could further deepen the rift between King Charles and his estranged son. With all this hanging over his head, Charles isn't in a forgiving mood, Quinn stated. He added that if Harry were to apologise and promise to refrain from making more embarrassing revelations, the situation might be different. However, Quinn claims that Harry's in no mood to apologise. Like his wife, he still believes that all the apologies need to come from his family. The tension between the royal family and the Sussexes has been palpable since Harry and Meghan stepped back from their roles as senior royals in 2020. The publication of Harry's memoir Spare in January 2023, which contained numerous revelations about his life as a royal, further strained the relationship. According to Quinn, Harry stated that he'd had enough material for two books, suggesting that there could be more revelations to come. During his recent trip to the UK, Harry was seen hugging his late mother Princess Diana's siblings, Earl Spencer and Lady Jane Fellows at the Invictus Games service, held at St Paul's Cathedral in London. However, no senior royals attended the ceremony, while King Charles met guests at the first Buckingham Palace Garden party of the year, just a few miles away. Initially, it was believed that Harry and Charles would meet during the Duke's visit, but this didn't happen due to the King's full programme, according to a statement from Harry's spokesman. The statement, however, hinted at a possible future meet-up, stating that the Duke, of course, is understanding of his father's diary of commitments and various other priorities and hopes to see him soon. According to the Royal Rogue, Meghan Markle's memoir has reportedly been rejected three times. According to him, Meghan pitched three different ideas to Penguin Random House. The first pitch was a rags to riches story, but it was dismissed because there was no concrete evidence to back it up. The second pitch was a love story about her relationship with Harry. The publishers felt this was redundant since much of it had already been covered in the Netflix series. The third pitch focused on a life behind closed doors with the royal family, aiming to set the record straight. However, the publishers were not convinced and suggested that she go full disclosure in order to be relatable, a strategy used successfully by celebrities like Kevin Hart. Meghan, however, refused, fearing it would damage her reputation.